Here is how I stopped an army of follow botters in my live stream while I was live. And it's pretty simple. There was only really two things that I did to stop it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up again on my second channel. And you're going to start on your Twitch. And I'm going to click in the top right into my creator dashboard. And I'm going to go into the stream manager. Now it's giving me a tutorial because I'm on the second account. So I'll skip that. And what I'm going to do is it's behind me. And I'll make sure you can see it. I'll click onto the settings. Then I'm going to click on shield mode and get this pop out. And for me, the most important thing on shield mode to stop follow botting is we'll drop down the follower verification setting. And I'm going to set it so that when we enable shield mode, all users must have a verified email to follow. And I'm also going to make them verify their phone numbers. Now, the way shield mode works is you press the shield mode button and it activates all of these different settings. It also activates these ones, these ones, whatever else you set. So don't worry about these settings too much. These are not usually going to be enabled in your live stream. But as soon as you see somebody starting to follow bot you, as long as you've got these saved, and they've auto saved by the way, as you can see, and as long as you've got this chat shortcut checked in the bottom left corner, if I just close out of this and you can see your chat here, all you've got to do is press the button and press turn on and you've now activated shield mode. So I've done it twice now by the way, but as you can see, it enables all the different settings that you've enabled. If you click it again, it will then disable. Once you uncheck the box, we'll turn off the shield mode and now it's disabled and we've got our normal settings again. So that should stop the follow botting, but how do we ban them? Well, I'm going to go back to normal Twitch. So I'm going to go back to Twitch and I'm going to type Seri underscore bot. So I've typed Seri underscore bot. I'll click onto their channel and typical Twitch. I'll watch out the advert. We've just got to follow the instructions on their screen and it's going to auto ban any bots that join the live stream. So I'm actually going to open the channel in a second tab because it wants us to mod Seri bot. So if I go back to the channel, type slash mod Seri underscore bot. It's now been added as a mod, as you can see, granted mod privileges. I'm now going to type in this chat, exclamation mark, join. And I actually haven't verified my second account. So that's good on Seribot. We'll have to verify my second account. So I'll be back in a second. Now I've got it verified. Let's type exclamation mark, join. And we now have to do the auth. So I'll click on the link and do the authentication and I'll authorize it. So we're now back in the channel and this time it should be successful, exclamation mark, join. And I can see it's got some very high settings. You would expect this from Saribot. So I've just got to wait 30 seconds and then type it again. And as you can now see, it says, welcome to the bot. I will join your channel when you're live. And one last command, exclamation mark, follow, ban, all one word. Follow bot protections are now enabled. And you're all set up. You can read the description of Saribot's channel if you want to know more. But if we go back to what actually happened live in one of my streams, all I did was turn on shield mode and Steribot did the rest. It banned all the bots.